Hello engineers and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to achieve parallax effect while scrolling in React. This is a sample project I worked on earlier. As you can see, uh, you can see the effect. So first one, second one, and all three of this are different effects. So if I go up, let's go up. Uh, first one is just a normal parallax. Second one is blur parallax. As we keep scrolling down, image gets blurrier. Third one is reverse parallax. This is what we will be creating today. To achieve this, we will use React, React Parallax library from NPM and images I downloaded from Pixabay. You can go there and download images you like or you can use images I use from uh, my GitHub project and link will be in the description below. Let's go to our terminal and create new app using npx create react app and let's name it react parallax. And uh, this should take some time. So I'll resume once it's done. All right, now the project is ready to go. So I'll just CD into react parallax folder and just say code dot so that vs code opens up right into the folder and next thing is let's just bump this up uh, next we just need to clear a few things up so we don't really need this uh, we don't need logo report and so i'll just delete these three files we don't need this and we need all these files so next inside index.js, I'll just remove all this part and we don't need this as well. And let's go to app.js. We don't need the logo, I'll save it. Let's clear this up and let's just have hello world and just some exclamations. Uh, let's go back to terminal and just run the app npm start and it should take a while. Okay, now it's ready to go and still spinning. Okay, hello world, uh, pretty good. Let's clear up uh, index.css file and let's start by having this and we will have margin of zero, padding of zero and box sizing will be border box and we will have text align center. So that's out of the way. Next, let's start with uh, app.js file uh, here. So uh, along with that, let, let us first uh, install the package which we need. So just go head over to this link and link will be in the description below. So just copy this, go to terminal and I'll open new tab and just paste it right here. So while it's, okay, it just got installed. So let's go back to our app.js file. And here I'll start by creating, so first we need to get parallax. So I'll just say import from react parallax and we'll just say para, we'll say parallax right here. And here we, I'll open up parallax and this one will have, uh, this needs uh, two attributes. So first is strength, which is going to be 600. And uh, we'll play around with the strength later on. And next is images. So once again, you can get images from Pixabay or you can use images I have. So first I'll go ahead and create a folder, which will be images. And I'll just click all these three images I have and put it inside images folder. Next, we need to import all three images. So I'll, for now, let's just start with by importing, let's just do IMP so that we can do this. Actually, it's right here, images. And let's start with city. I think first one was woman. So this one, and we'll say woman and save. And here, next attribute is BG image which is going to be name of the image we just imported. So just pass in woman here and 
just close it and inside this uh, we place our content so we will create first div with uh, class of content and create next div with class of text content and here we'll just say normal parallax and just save it and if we go back to our file uh, you can see this it's here but it just needs some CSS so let's go ahead and add uh, the CSS which is required and we will open our app.css file and remove all this part right here and let's start by giving CSS to our content so this is just going to be height of 100 VH and if I save and go back you can see the full image right here next we will just see, give CSS to our text content so text content is going to be dot text content and right here we will start with position of absolute next is going to be top is 50 percent left is 50 percent padding of 5 px on y axis and 15 px on x axis and we'll have transform this is going to be translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent right here next is going to be background of gray and let's have color of white and border radius of 20 pixels and I think we need font size of 50 pixels and I'll just save it and let's go back and we can see this but right now you won't be able to scroll because it's just occupying full uh, full height so let's go ahead and let's just add an empty div after our parallax so that it just allows us to scroll and this div is going to be of class content and as you know content class has uh, 100 viewport height so we will have extra view below this view so if I scroll now we can see the effect right so if you scroll you can see the effect pretty cool this parallax effect really brings life to your projects so if you feel like your project is it, it does not have like any movement or something parallax is a good way to go so let's go back and try uh, remaining two effects so I'll just copy this because this is it's, it's really easy to use and I'll just uh, because we need two more and let's import two more images so I'll just say IMP and this is going to be images let's do city and just say city right here and we'll do same thing again IMP images and this is going to be fly or jpg let's just name it fly and just save it and here I'll, I'll change it to city and this is going to be fly so for the second one this is our second one what we will do is second one requires uh, two things so strength is going to be 300 uh, we can play with this uh, let's just uh, do this and we'll uh, play around and here we will pass in it blur requires two values one is min and another is max so let's do minus phi and max of uh, 15 and just save it and here we will say blur parallax uh, blur and you know what even this we can work on so just say minus 600 that's it that's what it requires to implement reverse parallax once you add negative sign to strength it becomes reverse parallax and here I'll just say reverse and just save it I'll go back to our Chrome and I'll just refresh just hit home and so right now I'm using my arrow keys so that it's consistent scrolling and you can see the effect right now blur looks pretty cool and even reverse parallax is amazing like you can see the effect right now uh, because of this bokeh effect it looks really amazing now uh, I was saying you can play around with strength right so strength a good way to know all this stuff is probably refresh this page and uh, let's go back to here home page and this if you scroll down it has all the documentation like how to implement and stuff so uh, here like you see that strength 
is a prop which is a number it takes like value between i think it's from 200 to 800 but you can play around let's go ahead and try to uh, decrease it to 300 so this is the woman image and if we go back right here and refresh uh, and i'll just scroll down you can see that, like so basically lower number means lesser effect uh, you can do the same thing with the blur as well so maybe you can make this minus 15 and go back again so now it's already a little blurrier as we scroll it becomes like perfectly uh, so it's zero blur right now and it will become blurrier again uh, but I, I i prefer like to be less on the min side so that it's you can still see the image and okay uh, so that's it like you can always go to the documentation and play around with other stuff uh, this is really a cool library and uh, that's it if you guys have any questions please post them in the comment section below so that i can help you as best as i can thank you for watching